I don't think I, I don't think I can. Blooming hell, Hal. Look at that monster behind us. <laughs> how, are we, <laughs> how are we gonna get up there? How are we gonna get up there? I don't that? quite know. Jesus. I'm hoping it becomes clear when we get a bit closer. Maybe. So, Penny Ghent today, the third and final peak. Here we are on our third day. One of the absolute delights of being in the countryside in early spring is that it's lambing time. Okay, so we've started our ascent, we're a little bit out of breath and we see Penny Ghent in the distance and we're slightly horrified. Although it's the shortest distance, do you think it's like meant to be the most difficult ascent? Reckon we might be in for a bit of scrambling. On motorbikes? No, hands and knees. Well, we now know how you get up here. It's a bit of a rock climb, but there's steps carved into the rock, so it's not that difficult, it's just very steep. But the views from up here are just outstanding. And what a treat to actually cross the Pennine Way. That's a real treat, because that's on our hit list one day, when we can afford the time. But uh, yeah, it's real pleasurable here. Let's go, about another half an hour to the top, I reckon. Nearly there. Made it to the top of Penny Ghent, my favorite of the three. Um, it looked quite scary from down the bottom but actually it wasn't too difficult because the steps are are well maintained and not too tricky really so it only took well an hour and 40 minutes to the top which was pretty good and now we're going to have a cup of tea and make our way down perfect
have bagged that. That's three that we have bagged. So we've been staying at number three boutique B&B and Settle for the last three nights as we've climbed the three peaks. And what a truly magnificent B&B it's been. Judith and Martin, the owners and the hosts, are wonderful people who make you feel incredibly welcome and have a, a great sense of fun and knowledge about the walks and the area. So terrific, really. The bedrooms were incredibly tasteful, all with ensuite, wonderful new rooms, roll top baths in the middle of the room with high ceilings, a lovely, lovely place to come back to after a hard day's walking. And of course, lovely little touches all over the place, like Judith will make you little biscuits and cakes for when you set off in the morning and they're always in your room when you return. And the quality of breakfasts are magnificent locally sourced ingredients of course, really well made, lovely little touches here and there. This makes this B&B &B one of the best we've stayed in and certainly well worth a visit whether you're just visiting Settle or the surrounding areas or whether you're walkers. So yeah, number three in Settle, give it a go. Get some massive thumbs up from me and Hal. <laughs>